Hey guys, welcome back to our third video. Uh, this, today we're going to be talking about something called solid figures. First, let's start back here by looking at our schedule. We're going to talk about first the learning target, some key vocabulary. We're going to talk about the actual solid figures and then solid figures in real life. Okay, so let's take a look at our learning target for today and that is to find and identify different types of solid figures in the world around us. So we're going to try to look and see if we can find them all over the place. Okay, and let's go to the front for our vocabulary. Now our vocabulary for today is uh, quite extensive, means there's a lot of them. So I know you only have three pages on your note, on your note page, which should look a little bit like this. Your key vocabulary page only has three spots, but guess what? You have a whole blank page on the back. So please turn over your page. If you don't want to put it in here, if you want to put it in here, that would probably work out best. You're going to need a ruler as well. Hopefully you have one of those at home. If you don't, you can use the straight edge of a piece of paper. Like this. Okay? Alright. So, let's take a look here up close. And the first one we have is the face. Remember, you can pause it to write this down. The flat surface on a 3D solid figure. Then we have the edge, a place where two faces meet, or also known as a corner. Vertex is a place where three or more edges meet. So it has to be three, and that's called a vertex. Then we have a cone. A cone looks like a, hat, a party hat, where on top of your head. Cone also looks like this. Okay. So cone. Then we have a cube. Basically just a 3D square. It looks like this. Some of these might be a little bit difficult to draw, but try your best. Then up here we have something called a sphere. A sphere is a ball, or a 3D circle. And we have a sphere right here. <clears throat> then we have next a cylinder. A cylinder looks like a pipe or a tube. And right here is a picture of a cylinder. And it looks like a pipe, like water could go right through the middle of it. Cylinder. And then we have a rectangular prism. Basically, guys, this is just a 3D rectangle. A 3D rectangle. This would be an example of a three-dimensional rectangle or a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. And last, a square pyramid, like in Egypt, like our great pyramids of Giza. These are square pyramids. They have four sides. Here's our square pyramid. And your geometry joke for the day is, what type of tree do math teachers climb? They climb a geometry. So, boys and girls, what we're going to do right now is kind of like a math blitz. Miss Heather is going to shout out things, and I'm going to see how fast I can write them into these things. Because these solid figures are all around us in our real life, and now, I want to see if I know where they go, and while Miss Heather says them, I want you to think about where do they go? Where do they go? Okay? Are you ready, Miss Heather? Yes. <sighs> okay. <laughs> ready? Yep. Soccer ball. Ooh, sphere. Soccer ball. Uh, what you put ice cream in? Ooh, an ice cream dish inside a cylinder. Ice cream. Oh, you mean cone. Either cone. one. Ice Either cream. One. Okay, 
Shoebox. Shoebox. Uh, rectangular prison. Unless you have really small feet. <laughs> okay. Uh, ice. Like uh, that you ice. put in your drink. Ooh. Ice cube. Nice. Um, a, a tube. Tube. Oh, cylinder. Tube for putting like water in, huh? Okay. Um, a party hat. Ooh, a party hat. Oh, party hat. It's a comb. Uh, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Ooh, square pyramid. Ah, not Gizo. Giza. <laughs> okay. Uh, a tissue box. Um, a basketball. Basketball. Oh, it must be a cube. A basketball? Uh... <laughs> A cup. A cup? Oh, Maybe. It must be a cylinder. Uh, a vase? A vase. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's going to be under cylinder too. Um, a tennis ball. A tennis ball. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Did anybody see a mistake I made? Hmm, I bet you do. What is it? Well, you know that a basketball is not a cube. If a basketball is a cube, it probably wouldn't work very well. So where would it go under? A sphere. Okay. So you don't have to write these all down, but guys, I think you can understand that all these shapes around us are different types of solid figures. For right here, it's not really closed, but this is a rectangular prism. Your desks are rectangular prisms. Now if we look down from here, this is a cylinder that holds your desks up. This science book is a rectangular prism. Okay, Guys, they are everywhere. No matter where you look, you can see them everywhere. And all these right here, guys, are your different shapes. Different solid figures that we're going to talk about. Square or 3D, a 3D squared is called a cube. A 3D circle is called a sphere. This is called a cone. Like an ice cream cone. We have the Great Pyramids of Giza, or a, rect uh, uh, a square pyramid. Why is it called a square pyramid? Hmm, good question, Miss Heather. Take a look at that. Do you see that? What does this make? A square. A square. And rectangle, or triangles. Okay, we have our Rectangular prism, kind of like a wall in a house. And last, our pipe, or our cylinder. It's got a, circu a circle, cylinder circle, and it's three-dimensional. All right, boys and girls, if you want to write down the magic word or the key word for, for today, the key word for today is right here, tissue box. I want you to write tissue box somewhere on your page. And that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. See you later.